Jungle in Basics by Seeker Ninja 007 Understanding your jungle So first of all, let's analyze the jungle creeps because we're going to be facing these a lot Greetings everyone, my name is Seeker Ninja 007 I've been playing League of Legends for about 2 years I've been jungling for about a year And this is my basic jungler guide First of all Summoner spells. Every jungler needs smite. Smite is very important. I will go further on. On this, has Welcome been progressive. to Summoner's Rift. Know that. As soon as you start it off, you want to have smite. Other summoner spell. Flash is good. Exhaust. Ghost. Revive if you want to. But smite. Smite is needed. Smite is a must. Items. Most junglers will start off with cloth armor or a hunter's machete and then spend the rest of their gold on health pots for the sustain. I recommend the Hunter's Machete if you are level 30 and have enough armor. This world is so pretty. You, know, you might want to start with cloth armor. Here we have my jungler, Skarner. He's one of my top 5 junglers and I start off with Hunter's Machete and a 5 health pot for the sustain. Hunter's Machete, very good damage. I don't so you can clear your jungle creep. On all legs. I start off with plus 17 armor from ruins, um, some magic resist, some attack speed, and even some movement speed. If Minions you are level 30 and you're trying to jungle, we'll I had to recommend time. starting with cloth armor. So, let us begin. Here in the jungle, we have the ancient blue golems. The ancient blue golem spawns at a minute 55 and respawns every 5 minutes. It's notorious for its blue buff which gives 20% cooldown reduction and mana regeneration. They spawn right here on the side if you're in the blue team and they spawn right over here if you're in the purple team. On top of that we also have the crystal what I call the scar buff. is weeping spawns here for the blue and spawns over here if you're in the purple. The red elder lizard. It spawns at a minute 55 and respawns every five minutes upon being killed. It is known for the red buff that it gives. The red buff applies a slow and damage over time. It is fairly well used for ganking. Next we have the wolves. They spawn a minute 40 in game and they respawn every minute after being killed. The purpose of killing wolves is usually for golden experience. They do however provide a nice bridge towards the ancient blue golem. Next we have rates. The rates are similar to wolves in that they are also killed for golden experience. In addition they provide a, a nice gap towards red buff. We should note that they spawn at a minute 40 and respawn every minute after being killed. Last but not least, we have the double golems. These are possibly the hardest to kill neutral jungle creep. They provide golden experience similar to raids and wolves. However, we should note that they spawn at a minute 40 and they respawn every minute after being killed. Now, let's take a look at Drake or Dragon. First of all, let's note that he is an epic monster, meaning he isn't very easy to kill. However, very few junglers can solo him at early levels, notice noticeably Fiddlesticks and Shackle. It is for this reason that if you're jungling up against a Fiddlesticks, Shackle, or perhaps even a Lee Sin, you want to have Dragon warded as soon as possible. General rule of thumb is about 5 minutes in game. Drake, or Dragon, however you wish to call it, spawns 2 minutes and 30 seconds in game and it respawns every 6 minutes after being killed. Keep track of this time, it is very important to fight and contest for this. The reason for this is because the team that kills Drake obtains 190 global gold, meaning every member obtains this money. In addition to this, the killer, or the champion that finishes Drake off, receives an additional 25 gold. Last we have the ultimate neutral monster, Berber Nature. This monster is a beast and will most likely require a team to kill it. The rewards for killing it are 900 experience points plus 300 gold for every member of the team in addition. 
every member alive gains the buff. This buff applies increased attack damage, ability power, as well as health and mana regeneration. This is very good for team fights, generally providing a strong boost for the team that possesses it. The purpose of this video was to inform you about jungle creeps. I believe this is the very first step towards learning how to jungle appropriately because you will be facing these creeps a lot. I plan on making other guides that build upon this basic knowledge, covering more and more aspects about jungling. This includes jungling routes, recovery routes, counter jungling, ganking, and champion specific guides. I hope this video helped you understand more about the jungle monsters themselves. If you learn anything from this video, let it be the spawn and respawn times, because as a true jungler, these should be engraved in your heart. In the meantime, enjoy this skill. Let it show you that jungling takes patience and you just have to wait for the right opportunity to strike.